Hi there, everybody. It's Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com, and uh, and this is the Vol Report. Hey, uh, reminder: this is for education purpose only. Shouldn't be considered by advice. Options have risk. And happy Friday, everybody. Hey, we're now close four uh, four days away. Options made easy with me, Mark Sebastian. Who could ask for more? Uh, so it's going to be. Um, Tuesday the 4th at 8.30, there's an all-new webinar. Even if you're experienced, I promise you'll get some tidbits out of it. So go to optionfit.com slash easy123. Speaking of easy123, the market is basically positive again. You can see the NASDAQ is, is green again. The S&P is flat. The Russell is green. And the Dow is, is flat to downish a touch. And what, we, what do we always say? When the RUT and the NASDAQ are leading, the market tends to follow, and that is what we're seeing today. The RUT and the NASDAQ are leading. Apple continues to be off to the races. Um, we got a FOMO, what I call a FOMO-MOMO trade. That's uh, the fear of missing out momentum trade. You guys ever heard of the FOMO-MOMO? Well, that's what you're looking at here. You got a FOMO-MOMO, uh, and algos are just driving this thing higher. Uh, it's looking a little toppy. <coughs> we will be playing with Apple today. Um, Amazon is another one. So some names that that um, are out that I think are kind of fun to look at. I want to look at Ulta, which was down after missing earnings. Then Kylie Jenner announced that she's going to have a uh, an Ulta brand. So it's up, and it's up big because people love the Jenners. Um. The other name that came out, look at Lululemon. People are, women are wearing Lululemon again. Um, so it, it's unbelievable. Yeah, Lululemon is now back to where it was at its peak, uh, if not higher. So th this could be a, f a fun one to look at. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be looking at S&P options, and uh, I'm going to play with that. Um, I'm going to be messing around with uh, all kinds of uh, all kinds of uh, of the indexes and ETFs, um, you know, because it lo looks like we're going to go pretty green today. I, I, I'm going to look at VIX itself because this is an opportunity with VIX where it is to. Um, Potentially, uh, potentially set up some some fair trades. I think VIX got a little over, a little overdone, and I may uh, uh, yesterday and had been overdone. So I'm I'm gonna come up with some some VIX stuff through the weekend. So that's kind of my my game plan for the day. Talking about markets in, as a whole, you can see kind of a mixed bag. Energy is down, um, but uh, financials are off a touch. Technology, industrial flat technology is up. Some consumer stuff is up, and uh, uh, consumer discretionary is way up. So, uh, and XRT is up as well. So you've got uh, got kind of a mixed bag of things, uh, and that's you know I think uh, kind of the way the market is is starting out. I think. You're going to see all the major indexes go green, and VIX is going to get back to about 12 and a half, potentially by the end of the day. All right, everybody. Hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.